Hi, my name's Ryan Kingsline. I'm the founder of UArtsy and Concept Art Workshop and a couple of other academies. And one of the things that I love to do the most is showcase the knowledge that my instructors share with their students. And it's the little gems, the little tiny things that they say that I find makes the biggest difference. So today what I want to do is share with you something that I learned from Gurmak Basin in terms of how you create cut lines and this is 3D inside of Maya and it comes from his uh, concepting spaceships class which finished just a little bit ago but it's really relevant because right now he's got concepting vehicles so it's about how you get in and really start to create all of these little details and the edge the little lines things of that real simple tip check it out if you want to have a cut line here um, I would separate the pieces out so that they're just easier to work with. So for example, let's say you do want to have a cut line there. Um, I would go in and let's see, where are we over here? Um, let's extract this face. So now it's separate. Um, and what I, what I would actually do for my cut line is I wouldn't model a gap in like that. Uh, what, what we're going to do is make it a lot easier. So let's delete this. Let's delete this. Is there another one? Yeah, let's delete that one. Uh, let's go in here. Delete all those. Delete this. And then now we don't even need these anymore because it's not attached. So we don't need to carry these extra edges through for no reason. Um, all right, so now what I would do, so I would just snap all these together. Um, and the, Tucker, I think, was doing a bunch of this on his ship. Um, it just makes your life so much easier. It makes it easier to work with um, your file, your model. Um, the more separated pieces you can have, the easier it's going to be to build. Um, and let's see, there's something going on here where the surface right here isn't flat. You can see that unless, let me see. Yeah. So now I can tell that your overall surface here isn't flat. Um, and if it's meant to be flat, uh, basically, you and, and it's not, you kind of want to at least try and make it as flat as possible. I'm not going to worry about that for now. But this is what, so what I do, separate these two pieces out, um, and then take this edge and uh, sorry for the background noise, everyone, if, if you guys can hear that. I think there's some construction going on. Um, So just extrude this in, and then let's get the other one. I don't think we need this edge anyway, because there's nothing connecting it at the bottom. Maybe eventually you're going to need to bring that back once you fill out the bottom. But let's just extrude this in. And like you see how it's bending and stuff right here, that doesn't really matter because since it's a cut line um, and you're not going to see that part, I don't go and fix it because I don't need to. But if it bothers you, then just go ahead and fix it. Um, and then right now I'm adding my supporting edges on both sides of that cut line. I'm actually going to add a supporting edge. Well, maybe he wanted it to bend in a way over there. You hit three and 
see now you have that cut line, the occlusion shadow, the pieces are separate. Uh, when it renders, you're going to get the nice occlusion um, uh, shadow in there that's going to show that it's dark. Um, that's going to that, and then when you add that occlusion pass on top of your render, it's going to pop. Um, and then that way, you don't have all these edges flowing through. You can do whatever you want with this piece, and it doesn't necessarily affect that piece. Hope you enjoyed that. Now make sure you head over to conceptartworkshop.com. Germox class, it's open right now. See you there.